Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, um, we're gonna see Angular dependent dropdowns. So it is uh, with respect to the subscribers request. Uh, it's a very simple topic, I think. Most of uh, like most of you uh, are you know known to this topic. So like it is just an independent dropdown. Like one dropdown is dependent on another one. Um, so I've just taken an example that. Um, that is a team's drop down so let's say let's say we have a uh, uh, india uh, australia or england so let that be the teams and and like with respect to like if you select the teams and the second drop down should populate the uh, respective players of that team so uh, i'm just going to play with the static data i'm not going to have any firebase interaction here okay without, without any further hurdle we'll move into the vs code so this is my previous you know file upload project which i have uh, you know already explained in my previous video so if you are new to my channel uh, don't forget to check out uh, that video and then also uh, subscribe to my channel and share the knowledge um the project is running this is a simple project if you drag and drop the file it will you know upload it to file so that's the project if you skipped it do watch it and in this we are going to see simple dependent dropdown so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to create a div and add a couple of drop downs here okay so let's say we have select okay and option we have two drop downs and the first one should be of teams and the second one should be of players okay give some space and check out on the ui how it looks Okay, that looks good. Just have a break between those two drop downs, and we'll also make it a little center. Okay, so now check out the center. Yeah, there you go. We'll also give some fixed width. Let's say 100 pixels. Okay. And there you go. This is enough. Um, first of all, we should have a default selected option. That should be, let's say, select team okay and this is going to be selected and it's going to be disabled okay. if you come here you should see this okay and let me give some more bottom because both the fields are you know Collapse together. So margin bottom. Sorry. Margin bottom of let's see 20 pixels. And that looks much better. Okay, so we are we are going to populate the options. I'm going to DS file add teams. It's going to be a string of Array is going to have the value as England. India. Australia. Okay. So this is going to be the teams. And as for players, now I'm just going to have I am tearing. Okay, 
So I'm going to populate the stairs. So save it over here. And I'm just going to copy these options. And we'll see ng4 lit team of teams and I'm going to pass this as a value the team name as a value it's going to be team and this all this option model we want to display is also going to be team okay similarly just copy paste it here for the second drop down and here this is going to be players So the player is going to be the value and the display value okay so now if you look at the ui so there you go using options and on change nothing is going to happen okay so so our main goal is like uh, once we change this the dependent drop down should update its value okay so now i'm going to the ts file I'm going to create India players. Uh, that's going to be string. Hurry. I'm not going to have everyone's name. Let's see. Virat Rohit. Okay. So similarly, I'll have. England England players and this players okay. so you can have root or else is that in England strokes okay what else is that in England Team players, let's see, put love. Okay, let's see, Aussie. And Aussie, I'm going to add a smith. Okay. French and I'll have Maxwell. Okay. Okay, we have the team players list. So we have the players which is getting you no know, iterated in the options. So what we are going to do now, we are going to make a change function to call a function. Which updates the value of this drop down. Okay, so now I'm going to say a change update players. Okay, players with event target dot value. Okay, so what the, this does is like it will give you this particular uh, fields value. So I'm going to create a function in our modules here. Let's see team name. Okay. What I'm going to do is switch switch team name case if it's India then I'm going to say this dot players equal to this dot India players and break it. Similarly, we're going to have our okay. So I'm just using a static data. If you have with if you have your values in your database, then it will be much easier for you to just update uh, 
the value with your query okay so if you want this to be a dynamic one just uh, command at the command section i will upload it okay so i'm just going to play it england and Aussie. okay so there you go and we we'll should also have a default and this should tell that mm, empty the players okay fine now i'll save it and i'll save this as well and now we'll go to our file okay so now if i change this to england i'm going to get england team players if it is india in australia and that it's working fine and if you guys have any doubt please do let me know in comment section uh, i'll replay as soon as possible okay and uh, do subscribe to my channel share the knowledge thank you